things your baby is trying to tell you from the way they cry. We all know that babies mainly tend to express themselves by crying, especially in the first four months. But did you know that the way your baby cries can differ from time to time depending on what they are trying to express? Well, you do now. Here are six different ways that your baby cries that mean different things. The I am hungry cry. If your baby is crying and whimpering while putting his or her fingers in their mouth, that's an indication that they are hungry. They will make smacking sounds with their mouth, rotate their head a couple of times. And another cue is that a hunger cry tends to be short, low-pitched and rises and falls as per their hunger. However, if you don't get to your baby right away and feed them, the short cry might just turn into a long hysterical crying session. So, watch out! The calling cry Doesn't it get a little weird when your baby suddenly starts to cry? Does so for a good 5-10 seconds and then pauses for another 20 seconds before they repeat the same thing? A little weird would be an understatement for that. But this confusing thing that your baby does is him or her trying to call you and grab your attention which means that it has been a while since they have been left alone. And just a heads up, if you feel that your baby isn't even actually crying, then chances are that they probably aren't because researchers have said that sometimes your baby might even fake a cry just to get your attention. Either way, you better rush to your sweet pea and play with them now. Crying out of pain Unlike the other times when your baby is hungry or calling out to you if he or she is in pain or accidentally got hurt somehow, then they will cry in a very distinct way which you will immediately be able to pick up as the pain cry. This is because when they cry out of pain, it is more of a flat tone but with consistent crying. Their facial expressions also might help you better to identify this situation, a wrinkled forehead, breath holding, furrowed brows, grunting, etc. And if the pain is increasing, they might just even have a hysterical outburst altogether, wherein the crying starts to get louder and does not stop even after you attend to them or help them. If that happens, then it's better to call a doctor and get your little one checked. After all, you can never be too sure. The Physiological Cry Babies do perform bodily functions just like we do. And although peeing and pooping may seem like it's their primary job and all they have to do, it tends to cause them more discomfort than you can imagine. This is usually when they start winning or crying in a certain way to let you know. If your baby is crying but is also squeaking and winning simultaneously or while he or she cries, then it's time to take a visit to the washroom. Also, sometimes your baby might cry while he or she is trying to poop but don't worry because this is just as normal as anything else and babies tend to do this to increase pressure in their tummies which thereby helps them to push out the stool faster. Crying out of boredom This one is greatly common for obvious reasons and also quite easy to point out. Yes, this is exactly that time when your baby keeps on crying even after you have done everything that you could have. And yet he or she refuses to stop crying. Ah, what a task that is. But don't worry, that's just because they are bored and or frustrated. Just take your baby out for a stroll or a walk and that is more likely to help them calm down. So now you know, a simple change in the environment or surrounding always does the trick. The sleep cry. Wait, what? There is such a thing as a sleep cry? Yes, there is. If your baby is trying to sleep but for some reason is just not able to fall asleep, he or she is most likely to cry a bit while he or she whines and yawns as well. And the best solution for this to develop a soothing sleep routine for your baby by reading them bed stories, singing lullabies, taking your baby in your lap and sitting in the rocking chair, etc are some essential ways that you could inculcate into, into his or her sleep routine. There are a lot of other sounds that babies tend to make which may or may not mean anything in particular and although different babies might make different sounds while portraying a particular behavior. You must keep track of what kind of sound your baby tends to make the most, the time he or she does is that and why they do that. This will make it easier for you to identify what mood your baby is really in and what it is that they are trying to tell you. 
so many sounds and meanings. It's almost as if we are trying to decode the Da Vinci code. But hey, nobody said parenting is going to be easy. That's all from us today. We want you to know that your voice is important to us. So please leave a comment below. If you are new here, then click the bell icon for notifications of our new videos. And subscribe to our channel.